Flavius Aetius, a prominent military leader of ancient Rome, stood as a beacon of strength and resilience during a time of turmoil. Born in 391 AD, Aetius witnessed the constant threat posed by barbarian hordes to the Roman Empire. His unwavering determination and tactical brilliance propelled him to become a trusted advisor to Emperor Valentinian III. Join us as we explore the life and legacy of Flavius Aetius, a man whose strategic genius shaped the destiny of Rome. Flavius Aetius was born in 391 AD in the city of Durastorum, located on the banks of the Danube River, modern-day Silistra, Bulgaria. Aetius came from a distinguished military lineage. His father, Flavius Gaudentius, was a respected Roman general whose ancestors had settled in one of the most volatile regions of the Roman Empire, Scythia Minor. From a very early age, it was clear that Aetius would follow the footsteps of his father and pursue a military career. However, Aetius' journey would take an unexpected turn when in the year 405 AD, he found himself in the hands of the Visigoths. Aetius was taken hostage by Alaric, the Visigothic king. During this time, it was a common practice for barbarian tribes to keep members of prominent Roman families hostage, so as to gain political leverage. This is how Aetius ended up in the court of King Alaric. As a hostage, Aetius was exposed to the customs, strategies, and military practices of the Visigoths. He seized this opportunity to learn from his captors, gaining valuable insights into the tactics and strengths of the Visigothic warriors. He spent three years among the Visigoths until the death of Alaric, after which he was taken hostage by the Huns, until his eventual release in 423 AD, after the death of Emperor Honorius. This period of captivity among the Huns would prove to be a pivotal chapter in Aetius' life. As a prisoner, he once again turned adversity into an opportunity for growth. He immersed himself in the ways of the Huns, observing their military tactics and understanding their cultural practices. Aetius' ability to adapt and learn allowed him to form connections with the Hunnic leadership, giving him invaluable insight that very few Romans had. Shortly after his release by the Huns, Aetius began rising through the ranks of the Roman military. He embarked in a distinguished military career within the Roman Empire. The exact timeline and details of Aetius' campaigns and promotions during this period vary in historical accounts. However, he served in numerous military campaigns across various regions of the Roman Empire, fighting in internal conflicts as well as campaigns against the barbarian tribes to the north. By the year 429 AD, Aetius had displayed his competence enough to secure the position of Magister Militum for the province of Gaul, effectively making him the main figure responsible for the defense of the province and elevating him to become one of the most influential individuals in the empire. He continued elevating his status within the Western Roman Empire, becoming a consul for the first time in 431 AD and a protector of the ruling Emperor Valentinian III and his mother and advisor Galla Placidia in 435 AD. Meanwhile, Aetius continued to defend the province of Gaul against barbarian incursions. He faced threats from the Franks, Alemanni, Burgundians and Visigoths. His military successes led to his second consulship in 437 AD. In the following decade, Aetius focused on consolidating Roman rule in Gaul and Iberia. He achieved further recognition by attaining his third consulship in 446. However, the dynamic between the Romans and the Huns, who had been long-standing allies of Aetius, began to change. Under the leadership of Attila, the Huns became increasingly eager for expansion. Roman-Hunnic relations gradually deteriorated, resulting in the Romans ceding the province of Pannonia to the Huns. The greatest test for Aetius was yet to come, as in 450 AD, Attila started preparing for an invasion of Gaul, the very province Aetius was entrusted with protecting. Realizing the imminent threat posed by Attila and his Hunnic forces, Aetius gathered a coalition of Roman and barbarian troops to defend Gaul. This coalition consisted of Visigoths under King Theodoric, Franks, Burgundians, as well as other smaller Germanic tribes. Attila's invasion of Gaul culminated with the Battle of the Catalonian Plains, fought in northeastern Gaul, between these combined forces and Attila's Huns. Aetius strategically positioned his troops, forming a defensive line to counter the Hunnic onslaught. The 
The battle was fierce and lasted for several days, with heavy casualties on both sides. Aetius displayed tactical brilliance, utilizing his knowledge of the Huns' battle tactics to effectively counter their attacks. Aetius used a combination of defensive positioning and shield wall formation to nullify the impact of the Hunnic shock cavalry charges. He effectively disrupted the Huns' momentum by deploying skirmishers who constantly harassed and destabilized the Hunnic forces. Additionally, Aetius' coordination with his Germanic allies allowed for strategic maneuvers that outmaneuvered the Huns, presenting a challenge that the Huns had never faced before. At the end of the day, the Battle of the Catalonian Plains ended inconclusively, with no clear victor. Both the Roman-Germanic alliance and the Huns suffered heavy losses. However, the battle marked a significant setback for Attila's invasion of Gaul, forcing him to withdraw his forces. Ultimately, the Battle of the Catalonian Plains had far-reaching consequences for the future of Europe. It prevented Attila from potentially advancing further into Roman territories, which in turn helped preserve the balance of power in the region and safeguarded the Western Roman Empire from immediate collapse. After the Battle of the Catalonian Plains, Flavius Aetius continued to play a significant role in Roman politics and military affairs. However, his successes on the battlefield and growing influence drew resentment and suspicion from his rivals, particularly Emperor Valentinian III himself. In 454 AD, Aetius faced a tragic end when he was assassinated by order of Valentinian, who was encouraged by his advisors. The assassination marked the downfall of a brilliant military strategist and left a void in the Roman Empire. Aetius's death had profound implications for the Empire's ability to defend against external threats, as well as for the internal power dynamics within Rome. His assassination is considered a turning point in the decline and eventual fall of the Western Roman Empire. Flavius Aetius, a remarkable figure in history, defended the Roman Empire with unwavering determination. From his rise through the ranks to his pivotal role in the Battle of the Catalonian Plains, Aetius showcased unmatched military brilliance. Though his life was cut short by betrayal, his legacy endures as a testament to courage and sacrifice. Thank you for watching this video about the life of Flavius Aetius. For more content like this, like the video and subscribe to our channel.